are the two Louis Sullivan storefronts that were exposed in the course of the restoration. This one was from around uh, 1897 when L Sullivan had designed, uh, actually designed... My name is Gunny Harbo and I'm a preservation architect. Two, store, ...two levels of storefront uh, instead of a whole building. And there was a connector to the L here. As a preservation architect, uh, I'm focused on trying to return some of the great gems of this city back to the way they were when they were originally built so that people can enjoy it and get the sense of what makes Chicago such a great city. The project that I'm probably most proud of is the Rookery Building. That was really the first big project that I worked on here in Chicago and a uh, fantastic building, original building, and we were really able to bring that building back to what it had been originally and it was very exciting in many, many ways for me. Another project I'm extremely proud of is the one that we're standing in now, which is the Hotel Burnham, originally the Reliance Building. The restoration of this building was uh, quite a task that took almost five years to complete, starting with the exterior where uh, 2,000 pieces of terracotta had to be replaced, the original cornice which was missing had to be replicated, uh, windows had to be replaced because they were falling out of their openings, and uh, the storefront that you see, which was done as part of the second phase, was also, also completely replicated. Uh, it was a huge undertaking. So the building behind me is the, uh, now known as the Sullivan Center. Most people know it as the Carson Peary Scout Store building. So the, the part of the, the restoration which we just completed was this cast iron storefront. And you can see the, it's very tall, two stories, and it was in terrible condition. The, the painting, that, the re, repainting it had had, the restoration it had had in the late 1970s, it basically lived its life. The paint was failing everywhere, lots of corrosion. Um, and in fact, we found out as we were doing our investigation that there were a lot of, of the original fasteners had been completely rusted away um, and were not really holding it together. Basically, rust was holding it together. So the scope of that uh, project was quite simple, it was basically take it down, restore the pieces, and put it back on. However, uh, while simple in conception was very difficult in execution, and it took uh, over two years to complete that job. It now looks beautiful again, and we're very excited about that, but a lot of work went into making it look the way that it does now. Some people may remember that before the restoration, the building was green, but it had sort of a red undercoat that was exposed in some places, and that was based on the information that they had when they did the restoration in the late 1970s. So we did three different uh, paint analyses to try to determine what was the true original color. And we were really lucky because the canopy that's on this side of the building was moved in the 1920s and actually had sort of trapped, if you will, original paint layers. And so in that area we were able to actually uh, do the investigation. It's almost like an archaeological dig where you go down through the layers and determine what the original paint color treatments were. And in fact, it was this uh, dark green. One of the most rewarding things about my job is when the project's done and people can really enjoy the building the way it was intended to be understood when it was originally completed. Being a preservation architect in Chicago is basically my ideal job. You're in a city that's full of incredible historic architecture. It's full of people that appreciate it. And it's really an exciting place to do what we do. I remember studying architecture in both when I was an undergrad and history classes, as well as being an architect and looking at some of these great, great buildings and never dreamed in my wildest fantasy that I would be helping to restore them back to what they were. And that's really a, a dream come true.